Hey, it's Mike from Party of Four Crafts. In the last video about the Houtian 30 watt fiber laser, I talked about the hardware, what a fiber laser is, why you might want a fiber laser. In this video, I will focus more on the software side of things. I mentioned in the last video that I'm going to be using Lightburn because I use Lightburn with my 100 watt laser and I'm familiar with it. The laser comes with EasyCAD 2, but I mentioned you can't install EasyCAD 2 and Lightburn at the same time. But when you get your Houtian fiber laser, I recommend that you install EasyCAD 2 first for a couple of reasons. First, you need the EasyCAD 2 drivers to connect your fiber laser to Lightburn. And second, at the factory, they calibrate some things in your laser and they include a configuration file with EasyCAD 2. And then when you install EasyCAD 2, it loads those parameters. Then you uninstall EasyCAD 2, install Lightburn, and those parameters load into your Lightburn. So here's an example of what I'm talking about, as well as things that I had to adjust myself. So if you go to Edit, Device Settings, you can see here, there's a lot of settings here. For example, the, the field, that's the side, the area that you can engrave with the laser. And that depends on the laser and the lens that you have in your laser. Mine is 150 millimeters by 150 millimeters. And that was already loaded with the EasyCAD 2 parameters. All of these Galvo settings were loaded automatically. I have no reason to doubt them so far. Everything seems to be the, the proper scale, but I will double check those later. I'll score a one centimeter square, then measure it with calipers, see how close it is. And if I need to adjust any of these, the frame speed, that's how fast the red laser moves when you do a, a frame to see where your engrave is going to end up. This was all already automatically set. The laser type is fiber. The laser source is JPT. All of this stuff was set up automatically as well. On mine, the, the main red dot was not turned on when I came here. There are two red dots used for alignment that are red dot lasers that are physically in front of the lens. And then there's one that comes through the lens. And you can either use a ruler and the line on the arm that the lens is mounted to in order to focus your laser, or you could align those red dots. And when all three of them come together, then your laser is in focus. Probably not quite as accurate because the dots aren't exactly pinpoint dots. They have a little range. So there's some, some error bars in there when you're trying to use the red dots for focus, but you can get close that way. So the red dot that comes through the lens was not turned on and I had to turn this here on. Once I started producing jobs, I found that the red frame did not align with where it was actually engraving. So I, I contacted Hao Tian and they said these settings right here are the ones that you use to offset the red dot to align it with the actual job. So I played around with these numbers, the X and Y offset a little bit, the scale that was already set for me, but I'll double check those in the future too. I think you want those maybe a little bit bigger. So it's outlining the, the thing that you're engraving, but I'll, I'll work with that a little bit as well. Those numbers might be different for you. I would not load my numbers into your machine, but you can engrave something and then change these numbers, click frame, see how it aligns, change the number, click frame, see how it aligns and keep doing that until it's all aligned. All of this stuff here was already loaded for me. These things here were loaded for me as well. And all of the, the delay defaults were loaded for me also. So that's pretty much all there, there was to getting that set up. Oh, there was one more in there I wanted to talk about that I really like require framing before start. Usually before I start a job, I click frame and it does the outline to show me where that job is going to be. Turning this on forces that so you can never be way off and ruin like an expensive knife that you're engraving on or something like that. You could turn that off and manually frame whenever you want, but I want it to force it to frame. So with that on, every time I click the start button, the framing menu pops up. It starts framing and then I look at it and then I can click start from there. Otherwise I click frame 
and then I can click start. And when I click frame, the red outline comes up and I can see where my job is going to be. So other than that, um, that's all the, the setup of Lightburn that you need to do before you use your Houtian fiber laser. In the next video, I'll talk about some of the settings for the actual engraving and scoring and cutting, and then show you some jobs being produced on the laser. All right, thanks. Look forward to seeing you on the next one.